as a soul medium and advanced regression therapist. My practice begins by connecting with my client's soul for whatever is needed. I ask my client to complete an intake form and to state his or her intention as clearly as possible. I also ask him or her to be open to receive whatever is for his or her highest good and greatest joy. Next, I read and study the form before the session, looking for words or phrases that have an energy that calls to me. The energy of those words are like a door opening slightly and letting a little bit of light through the cracks. I ask for more information about those words, listening deeply to the energy of his or her story. The connection with my client's soul grows, and it shows me what to do next. I have studied many techniques and modalities and have created some of my own. I trust our souls know which one to begin with. My work is more off script and more intuitive, often channeled. My clients are more spiritually focused, which affects his or her journey. I find we can use a lighter form of hypnosis. As Dr. Brian Weiss says, hypnosis is just a focused state of awareness. My job is to hold the energy for my client to be able to alter his state or her state of conscious awareness in a sacred space. It is not necessary to go into a trance or a somnambulistic sleep state. The client may simultaneously be aware of extraneous noises and a vivid journey occurring in his or her field of consciousness or mind's eye while his or her body sits in the room. Some people are afraid they cannot be hypnotized. I can use the eye roll test to check his or her capacity to be hypnotized easily or not. The score on the test also guides me about how to begin. Some people are afraid of losing control during a session, of being vulnerable, but a few warm-up exercises reassures them that they are in control. Another frequently asked question is, was that just my imagination? I believe imagination is the language of the soul and that there are many levels of imagination, just as there are many levels of communication. As someone who has practiced communicating with my soul, I act as a guide into the landscape of consciousness. Many spiritually minded people, even those who have had paranormal experiences, have not experienced union with the soul. So the journey opens the door to a soul experience. I use the word regression to refer to a journey to the past of this life, the past of another life, or even to a progression. We will dialogue during the journey, which enhances the process. We journey beyond the time space dimension to do healing work, to gain insight and for the benefit of one's evolution. All three have an effect on our ancestors, our descendants, people whose lives we touch, and people who have a like energy, because this work has a quantum ripple effect. 
The essence of the session is unconditional love, compassion, radical forgiveness, and non-judgment. I suggest recording the session with my client's permission. I find the recording gives the client an opportunity to fully process the session. We close the session by embodying the energy of it into a symbol, a word, or phrase. As the client comes back into ordinary awareness, I have him or her sketch a mandala to represent the experience. We complete the process by addressing any questions, and I will share my notes about what I saw during my client's journey. I encourage him or her to keep a journal about the experience, as more may come up spontaneously or in dreams or meditations. During the session or the debriefing, we will talk about the client's process. Everyone's process is unique. Therefore, it makes life easier when you understand your process.